Okay, so it's uh, <laughs> it's kind of late. It's 2 p.m. in the evening. Uh, I have to do my uh, freaking fasted cardio today for my new training plan uh, in order to get like better physique and losing more body fat and stuff like that. Uh, so I guess let's get it. Yep, that's my fasted cardio. Hey, what's up? So if you guys are seeing this, it's probably because I forgot to do one thing for the video, which is asking you guys to subscribe to the channel and like the video and then share the video. Like, please, please, please. It would be really helpful for me to grow this channel uh, for the future, you know? So, you know, please do that and we'll go straight to the video. I'll see you guys. Uh, so, uh, in this video, I'm gonna show about my new. Let me get that. Say, uh, I'm gonna show about my new, I guess, diet, and then like uh, my new challenge to get a better uh, body or something. No, a better physique. Uh, and then I also wanted to show my progress since uh, Raw Nationals last year which is in October and about what I did uh, I believe it was last week where I maxed out on all of my lifts again and the, the results is I would say enough uh, I, I'm, I'm satisfied but I feel that I need to grind harder and just progress more uh, especially this year and especially if I want to start competing in Asian next year, we'll see how that goes. But essentially, uh, I'm doing like a new, uh, I'm doing like a challenge with Union Strength. And I'm just like wanting to see if I can get a better physique uh, instead of just doing strength. But by doing, by, by saying I want to have like a better physique, it doesn't mean that I'm essentially like cutting weight from 66 kg to like something really low I'm just trying to get like a lower body fat percentage and higher muscle mass so right now my body fat percentage is that uh, I believe it was 14.5 percent last time I checked uh, so I want to see if I can get it like around 10 percent or like even 12 percent uh, we'll see uh, so what I've been doing so far is uh, my friend Sebastian, he asked me to do like fasted cardio in the morning. But I just finished mine at uh, 2.56 p.m. because I had something to do in the morning since 8 a.m. I had to like go out and I just got home at 2 and just went straight to my fasted cardio because I want to eat, man. Uh, yeah, there's that. And then I've been like, not cutting carbs by lowering the carb intake and then lowering my calorie essentially like going on a uh, on a higher calorie deficit so instead of like eating 2500 thousand 2500 calories per day uh, I'm just getting like 1800 to 1500 calories per day now uh, there should be like a refeed at the end of the week sort of uh, and then like I'm trying to cut sugar <laughs> uh, that's not doing well on that one uh, but protein is it's like it's going high so it usually I would take like around 170 to 180 grams of protein per day but now I'm trying to hit like 200 grams per day uh, oh, we'll see it's eating is the hardest part uh, compared to you know lifting in the gym and stuff so there's that so I'm I'm sweating bullets right now uh, and then okay so to show my progress from last year 
essentially at Raw Nationals, I, I had issues at Raw Nationals because when I went there, I actually went with a torn ligament, the inguinal ligament. I'm gonna show the picture of like what it is, uh, and then, but I still decided to do it because I already paid for the registration, I already paid for the flight, I already paid for the Airbnb and stuff like that. Might as well just go, you know. And it's Raw Nationals, like who knows if I get to go again or not. Uh, so I did that, and it's it's kind of tough, like. Uh, the squat, my third attempt, which is 175 kg, I believe. Uh, it was supposed to be like a 2. Point f it's supposed to be like a 2.5 kg meat PR, but it there was like a lot of things happening that time. First, that the injury started to like flare up again, and then also the guy that was spotting behind me was. I feel he was like too close to me that when I walk out from the rack, I didn't want to like walk out that far. So I took like a small, really small step. And because of that, when I descend, uh, the bar actually hits the rack and throw me off guard. And like, essentially I didn't hit that because of that or something. But that's, that's the only reason why when I squat, I don't like somebody behind me. I don't like somebody like trying to spot me from behind. I like side spot. You know? uh, but then for bench, because you know the ligament is like down here, it doesn't really matter for bench and I actually increase to 125 kg for bench. Uh, and then for that lift, uh, essentially on the second attempt, I felt like I was trying, I was pulling like a building out of the ground. It was so heavy, even though it wasn't supposed to be that heavy. So that, that kind of. It's kind of bad. And then I end up with like a 482.5 kg uh, total for that day uh, for Raw Nationals. Uh, and then for my mock meet, which was last week, I hit a surprisingly pretty good number uh, on squats that I wanted to hit, which is 202.5 kg. Uh, I was trying to go for like 207 after that, but <laughs> it didn't work out. And then for bench, uh, I've only been benching for like a week uh, before the mock meet, so I wasn't expecting progress on bench, but I was hoping that I'm not falling off from my old bench. So for bench, I got like 125 kg uh, with a pause, with a full-on meat pause, you know? Uh, and then for deadlift, same thing, there's uh, no progress or something. I, I wouldn't say no progress, like, I hit 230kg in the gym the week before, and then I hit 230kg again during the mock meet, which is, to me, it's like, it's a progress, because, like, it's not easy to, you know, do squats, bench, and deadlift in one day, and then maxing out all three uh, lifts, on one day like it's it's so tiring and I was also like slightly cutting my weight because I was starting to be under 66 kg that day and I end up with like a 65.8 kg that morning if I'm not mistaken uh, so like that's like a, I believe let me do the math in my head I believe it's like a 75 70 kg uh, increase uh, compared to last year so to me that's a big win you know like it's a big win like being able to break the 550 kg uh, at a 66 kg body weight like I felt I felt kind of like <sighs> I don't know amazing I guess uh, next goal would be 600 kg uh, total uh, and hopefully I get to hit that by the end of this year we still have like four more months uh, in 2020 so that's a lot of progress can still be made so we'll see how I do at the end of the year or if I decide to just not max out or something and just wait till next year instead okay so that's it for like progress for uh, my new plan I'm gonna answer to this one question that one of my friends, she asked me this, like, hey, do you have any tips for working out? And I believe she wanted 
to ask about like you know tips on like how to do this lift how to do this lift which i will do in the future one by one you know but my answer to her right now to all of you guys out there the tips on how and how to start working out essentially is first of all you need to have like a really solid reason like you know you need to have that one reason it doesn't matter what that reason is like it could be a heartbreak it could be uh you know you're just not in shape and you want it to be in shape and like like any reason like i honestly like i started working out because uh i wanted to i was supposed to be fighting with this one guy in my boarding school so i wanted to get stronger and that's how i started working out and then just because of that wanting to beat that kid up and then just heart breaks after that that i'm just all right i'm just gonna lift more you know those are my reasons uh and then like so if you have any reason at all hold on to it embrace it and use it as a motivation and the next step once you have that reason to go to the gym is to actually sign up to a gym like if you keep on paying walk-ins you know you don't have that responsibility to like go there again the next day or the day after the next but if you already paid for like a month or even a year you know you're like you shouldn't be wasting that money right so you you would feel obliged to go to the gym and which you should right and that's the point why you sign up at a gym right and then a third and last advice for people to start working out at a gym is to actually actually get a coach or a trainer you know and the reason why I mentioned a coach first is because a coach is more qualified than a trainer like even an online coach because these people are there with education and they actually want to give you progress and want to like help you out and stuff like that versus a trainer who they are I, I would say they are like their goal yes is to get you in shape or whatever your goal is but doesn't necessarily they have the right technique and the right education for it so I know a lot of people will hate me for saying that but that's the truth you know like when you see like uh, an athlete uh, do, they, do they hire a trainer or do they hire a coach that's the answer to that you know all right uh, that would be the end of this episode uh, I will answer questions one by one each episode uh, so one question per episode or something so, but just like leave them in the comment section or just DM me on Instagram or something like that and yeah again if you like this video please please like the video share the video and subscribe to the channel it would be really helpful as motivation for me to start to keep on going with this channel you know all right hope you guys have a good day and keep on lifting get stronger Bye.